much of the Bible should we read or listen to on a daily basis? A verse a day, a chapter, a two, three, a book. Well, let's put it this way. How many times do you eat a day, including snacks? That's how many times you should confer to the word. Jesus said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And what proceeds out of the mouth of God is a living testimony, the word of God, which is a testimony of his blood is the New Testament and the Old Testament is the law. And it is also the commandments. We must be familiar with the word in order to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Elijah went 30 days on the strength of a word. And that's spiritual, but also physical. He physically went that far. You know that Jesus fasted and he didn't drink or eat for 40 days and 40 nights. So we must discipline our body in relationship to the Word of God. John the Baptist said about Jesus, He must increase, but I must decrease. Even though John was greater than all the prophets. Isn't that amazing? The reason why that was because Jesus was God in the flesh. You can't usurp his authority. Because many thought that John the Baptist was the Christ. And he kept saying, no, I am not the Christ. I am the one who comes before him. Yet they were only six months apart in age. And there were doubtful times. John sent two of his disciples to Jesus asking him, are you the one or should we look for another? Because John was in prison. And perhaps he didn't understand why he was in prison being the forerunner of Christ. And Jesus was out walking in the midst of those who would try to take him, walking just past them and they could not hurt him until the day that was in the scripture where in Psalms 22 it prophesies the crucifixion of Christ. Let's take a look at that. You should always have the Bible handy somewhere. Either an app on, an app on your phone. I like to listen to uh, narrated scripture, Alexander Scurby. I started listening to him when it was on cassette many years ago. When I used to go to work, I would I had a Walkman. Now it's going back a few decades. And I would put a cassette in and listen to the, sometimes the whole New Testament during eight hours. I think it was close to that. It was a lot of scripture and that's where I discovered the context of scripture as opposed to cherry picking verses out and leaving out the important context of what is being said. So what I'm saying is also listen to the word in context and you'll get a full meal out of it. So let's take a look at uh, Psalms. You think you've got afflictions. Here's a description of afflictions describing the suffering. Psalm 22. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? The words of my roaring. O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. 
They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They take the head. They shake the head saying, he trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him seeing he delighted in him. Remember that? Repeated when Christ was on the cross, the mockers, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, mocking and saying that. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from thy womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. All his disciples had forsaken him. Every one. Many bulls have come past me. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round about. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I'm poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. There's some pain there indescribable it's described but it's it's just a deep deep pain my strength is dried up like a pot shirt and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws and thou hast brought me into the dust of death for dogs have compassed me the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me they pierced my hands and my feet I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not far from me, O Lord, O my strength. Haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world remember shall remember and turn unto the Lord and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is a governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon the earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none of them can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born that he has done this. That's meat. Remember Jesus after he rose from the dead by his own spirit and the disciples were out fishing and he asked them, children, have you any meat? Now there's something deep. Do you have any meat? Do we have meat or are we on milk? We need to ask ourselves that question because it's the meat of the word that strengthens us when we are exercised in our spiritual senses. And those who are not exercising in their spiritual senses choke on the word and become offended and they spit it out and they never grow. We 
because they are carnal-minded.